I'm welcome. I'm Sheriff Brown. Good to see all of you. Thank, thank you for your activism. We would not have, as, as much as, as Bernie and I, and um, I think I think significantly more than 10 of our caucus would have voted for a Medicare for All, but I mean, it wasn't a majority. And health insurance reform must include the option, just the option, of a federally backed health insurance plan. This is almost as good as one of the rallies in Columbus last year when we elected a new president. Thank you very much. Every bit as important as what you did last year. Electing a new president was the first step. Passing health care, universal health care, with a strong public option. competition, either the Republicans or the insurance companies, which ones are trying to scare seniors more, but people aren't buying it. It's not going to work. Senator, Senator, what's your response to Rahm Emanuel, his interview with Charlie Rose about not having enough votes for the public option in the Senate? Uh, we'll get enough votes. We're, we, 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 listen, three, three committees in the House have passed public option. Strong bill with strong public option. The, the insurance companies have had their chance to do this right. We need the public option now. Oh, it's been the party of no, it's just more evident now because it's getting more and more desperate as this bill gets closer. We're, we're going to have a good health care bill by December to the president's desk. It's going to have a strong public option. And on final passage, some may vote against it because it's got a public option, but I don't see that. And in, in the overwhelming majority of Democrats and the country, okay and doctors support the public option. Uh, we would see a very different government if, if progressives, who are a majority, by far a majority in the Senate, if we could, could, could have a little bit more success on the Senate floor and work around these rules. From Progress Ohio, HCAN, and Planned Parenthood, to the AFL-CIO, UFCW, and SEIU, to Columbus Jobs with Justice, and the Ohio Alliance for Retired Americans, each of you is playing a critical role in shaping the progressive era of this generation. You can bet that a lot of us are going to introduce a public option bill as soon as the president signs this and we'll start working towards it. It may take a year, it may take five years. There are a lot of things we're going to do to continue to improve this system. We obviously don't give up on it.